Hello everyone! Welcome back to another lesson of basic calculus. For today, I am going to teach you the integration by substitution. Let's try to answer some of the examples so that we can understand the lesson. For number 1, the integral of 3x minus 5 over the square root of x minus 9 dx. In this situation, ang gagamitin natin na representative as u is yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, let u be equal to x minus 9. After that, we need to differentiate both sides. So, we will find the derivatives of u and x minus 9, which the answer is 1. But we won't write number 1. Instead, we will write it as du over dx. Next, let's substitute it back into the equation. The integral of negative 5 plus 3 times the quantity of 9 plus u over square root of u du. Using the distributive property on 3 times the quantity of 9 plus u, the equation will be the integral of negative 5 plus 27 plus 3u over square root of u du. Then combine the same term, so negative 5 plus 27, it will be 2. Then, convert the square root into an exponential term. So, it will be 22 plus 3u over u raised to 1 half du. After that, split the fraction into the sum of multiple fractions. So, magiging ganito yung itura niya. Tapos, ilipat natin yung u raised to 1 half to the numerator. Magiging 3u raised to negative 1 half plus 1 du. After that, isimplify lang natin. So, magiging the integral of 22 over u raised to 1 half plus the integral of 3 u raised to 1 half du. Tapos, sasagutan natin yung both equation. And that will be 44 times the quantity of x minus 9 raised to 1 half plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 9 raised to 3 half plus c or 44 square root of x minus 9 plus 2 times the quantity of x minus 9 raised to 3 half plus c. So let's now move on to the second example. The integral of dx over the quantity of x plus 1 times the square root of ln x plus 1. So in this case, I didn't write natin ang ating integral. So that will be the integral of 1 over the quantity of x plus 1 times the square root of ln x plus 1. So again, let u is equal to ln x plus 1 and du is equal to 1 over x plus 1 dx. Then after that, isimplify natin yung integral. Magiging the integral of 1 over u square root of u du. Tapos, isisimplify ulit natin, and that will be the integral of u raised to negative 3 over 2 du. So, i-integrate natin siya, magiging 2u raised to negative 1 half. After that, isasubstitute natin yung u. So, magiging 2ln times the quantity of x plus 1 raised to negative 1 half. Then, add the constant of integration. And the answer will be 2 square root of ln x plus 1 plus c. So, let's go to the next example. So, the derivative of x squared second squared x cubed tangent x cubed dx. So, in this problem, let u be the second x cubed. And du be the 3x cubed second x cubed tangent x cubed dx. After that, i-isolate natin yung equation. And that will be dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared second x cubed tangent x cubed du. Then, i-rewrite natin ang ating integral. So, magiging... The integral of x squared u squared tangent x cubed times 1 over 3x raised to 2 u tan 
x raised to 3 du. Then, reduce natin siya to the lowest term and it will be u times 1 over 3rd du. Then, i-integrate na natin siya. So, 1 over 3rd times u raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So, equals to 1 over 3rd times u raised to 2 over 2. Then, i-rewrite natin siya as single fraction. Kaya, magiging u raised to 2 over 6. After that, isa substitute natin yung u. So, ang magiging sagot niya ay second squared times 3 oh. second squared x cubed over 6 plus c or 1 over 6 second squared 3 bruh hula hula na lang script girl ah, matapos na ang ina na Second squared x cubed over 6 plus c or 1 over 6 second squared x cubed plus c. So, for example, the integral of second squared x over tangent x ln tan x. Yeah, b a b y l o n x x u raised to 2 over 6. After that, isa substitute natin yung u. So, ang magiging sagot niya ay second squared x cubed over 6 plus c or 1 over 6 second squared x cubed plus c. So, for example, the integral of second squared x over tangent x ln tan x. Yeah, B A B Y L O N. Cheers, cheers, cheers. The integral of second squared x over tangent x ln tan x. Then again, let you be the tan x. Then differentiate both sides. So magiging the integral of second squared x over tan x times in tan x dx. Then i-isolate natin ang dx. So magiging dx is equal to 1 over second squared x du. Tapos, isa-substitute ulit natin siya sa equation natin. Second squared x over u times ln u times 1 over second squared x du. Then, in the lowest term pa natin siya. And that will be 1 over u times ln u du. And then, evaluate na natin siya. And the answer will be ln absolute ln tan x plus c. So, let's now go to the last example. The integral of e raised to 5x tangent e raised to 5x dx. So, let u the e raised to 5x. And du is equal to 5 e raised to 5x dx. And then, i-isolate natin ang dx and that will be dx is equal to 1 over 5e raised to 5x du. 
Then, substitute ulit natin siya sa equation natin. So, integral u tan u times 1 over 5u du. Then, then, may lowest term pa ang expression na ito. So, magiging the integral of tan u times 1 over 5 du. Then, multiply both expression. So, integral of tan u over 5 du. After nyan, i-evaluate na natin siya. So, so, 1 over 5 integral of tangent u du. And the integral of tangent u du is negative ln absolute cosine u. So, magiging 1 over 5 times negative ln absolute cosine u. So, after that, i-multiply natin siya. So, magiging negative ln absolute cosine u over 5th. Then, last step, i-substitute natin siya. So, ang magiging sagot niya ay negative ln negative cosine e raised to 5x over 5 plus c. And that is all for the integration by substitution. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something.